We do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another King Crab video. Now, uh, the story about that, oh my gosh. So I decided to do a King Crab, Alaskan King Crab video recording on my uh, my iPhone and then trying to go live on Facebook and unfortunately that video did not work out as planned so we're back in better doing better things <laughs> yes I use this kind of butter it's organic butter and yes this butter is good I put garlic goya sauce that's it <laughs> garlic and goya sauce so I got my pick and I got my scissors since they were really good last time. And this time we got the potatoes, broccoli, and a couple fried wings. I fried some wings for my my uh my love downstairs and um why not? This I probably won't eat all of this, but I'll try because I'm very hungry. <sighs> yes, and this fro, let's get into this fro. I literally just took down my hair. If you see any of my videos and you see my dreads and look like I'm trying to take down my hair, I was. I was. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it seemed like I was trying to take down my hair for a month. A month. No lie. So, anywho, let's get crack a lacking. Pun intended. Yes, this broccoli is everything. I love broccoli. Dipping in some of this butter. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Yeah. Let's get this potato. Let's try this potato. Some of this butter. Mmm. 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 Let me just say this. I always wanted to do a mukbang because I lay in bed for hours just watching mukbangs, lobster mukbangs, and you know, seafood boil mukbangs, period. So, mm. I feel like I can scratch it off my dream list. <laughs> you know, because I just love. Grab legs during my pregnancy. I had the really bad cravings for crab legs like never before. You know what I'm saying? I could say, Oh, I just love crab legs, but I would crave it and I would like be so mad that I didn't get my crab legs. Like, my husband, you can't eat it, you're pregnant. Like, bullshit. I call bullshit on that. I'm going to eat me some crab legs. And ever since then, I have my love for crab legs has gone to the roof. You know? Let's get into this wings. I usually put um, Korean barbecue sauce. A little light coat of Korean barbecue sauce is so good like that. But hey. Mmm. I'm going to fry my wings plain. I don't like breaded wings that much. Nothing wrong with it, but it's too much crunchy. You know what I mean? It's like too much bread. I like to get down to the meat. The real deal. Mmm. So good. Mmm. It's really good. I might finish these wings. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> I really just did all this shit for decorations. <laughs> but yeah, my hair. I'm literally going to get my hair, you know, treated and clip ends clipped and I think a blowout and maybe a silk press for the first time in ten years. <laughs> or the first time ever literally ever I never 
I never sat in a beauty salon chair. Never. And that's just real. But it's time to grow up. <laughs> you know? It's time to grow up. Mmm. I'm going to try cracking open this big thing. Like, where do I start? It's scary. Look at <laughs> Like, huh. Okay, there's meat in there. There's meat all up in there. Oh my god, it's already so sweet. It's so good. You'll always see me with this pig. Perfect. Dip some of that butter. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna. It's very pointy. And shit. And this time I boiled my crab legs. Last time I baked them, which they're perfectly good either way. So I decided to boil it this time. This is the claw meat. And it's very... I don't want to... Ha! Huh. There we go. That big old piece of claw shell. And then we got the fat, which I don't necessarily like too much. I don't care for it. It's good. You don't have a lot of flavor in it, but the texture freaks me out. It literally freaks me out. So, yeah. So, we got this big old claw meat. Let's dip. Dip, baby, dip. Come on, let's dip, baby, dip. So yeah, y'all seeing me in my natural environment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have no shame. It's not about shame. You know what I'm saying? It's just, look at this growth. I just wish my edges would catch up with the growth. You know what I mean? Yeah. In my other video that is on my YouTube channel, I got those, um, those are snow crabs. Those are not like, I didn't have as much, you know, because I bought them for 20 bucks, thinking I was going to get something. They were good, no doubt, but, yeah. One leg of this cost $23, you know what I'm saying? And that wasn't even a pound. That was like, hmm, hmm, this is so good, so good. I know some people probably get weirded out by people like me who like to watch people eat. That's not the thing. It's just, when you ain't got no crab legs, you just want to watch somebody eat. YouTube. YouTube is the channel. You go to YouTube, you can watch anything. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. So, Yeah. My daughter's in the other room, sleeping. That baby. She is amazing, but she's a handful. She's a handful, but amazing. Nonetheless. Hold on, let me get right into this. Hmm. Hmm. So today I think I woke up around maybe 9.30, ate lunch around maybe 1-ish, 12-ish maybe. So this will be my second time eating today. 
I'm starving. Mm. I'm really excited about getting my hair done. I, it's been years since I got my ends clipped. <laughs> and I know, I know. That's probably why my hair ain't grown. <clears throat> but, whatever. Let's get into this again. Because it was just so good. Okay. Oh. Like, this is... Let's just... Let's use this scissors. My boyfriend broke my other scissors. I, I'm just calling him my fiancé because that's just what it is. I say my honey and things like that. And I want y'all to understand who I'm talking about. My fiancé. Fiancé. So recently, you know, I posted another video of me not talking. And I want you guys feedback. So you guys got me your feedback and said maybe I should talk when I'm doing, especially doing my makeup. And I agree. Like I said, I was going to post a whole video of me just talking straight through. But I'm like, I was kind of. You know, I didn't know for sure. I'm like, well, I'm just go ahead and put a video of me just with a with with a song. You know, and I thought about doing a voiceover and all that. So next time I'll know, because I do want to know what you guys think, and I will take heed to what you guys say. So for sure, we are going to be in the process of moving to a bigger place because we thought this place would be big enough but it's not and we just need more space you know what i'm saying it's just me my honey and my daughter but we just need more space so we're gonna move into a three bedroom mm. Mm. oh my god that's so good so yeah we're gonna be moving here in the next couple weeks here and I'll do a video so you guys can see the new place yeah oh okay I understand that looking at this crab leg you kind of understand you know there's so much to see which is it's just fat which is fine it's good fat it's not gonna mm hurt you mm. now you got smashing everything well, usually I don't <laughs> cause I'm a lady <laughs> mm. I'm a lady. It's a lot of meat. You know what I'm saying? So this is the last of the of my crab legs that I got from Costco. And um no, oh, I will be back. Broccoli. I don't like eating with my hands, you guys. <laughs> I hate it. Keep looking left to right for a napkin. Look at that. That claw. I mean, this these crab legs are so big. You, know, you hear me? I was to put this up here and stretch that part out literally the same length as my whole arm so yeah it's serious one leg of this cost $23 $23.99 to be exact which is cool you know what I'm saying? To me, that's worth it. Well, hell yeah. 
I never really get the meat out of this. So we going Ah, Aw, pooey. I get my pick. That's why I use my pick. I have my pick just in case. For situations like this. Yes. Mm. All right, it's being difficult, but that's okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up. I'm trying to get back. Okay. So, I'm gonna. You know these are tricky. Fuck with these crab legs is very tricky. And oh, just FYI. I make my videos, you know, for adults. So, you know, I make curse. So, you weird adults out there who are like, oh my God, she cursed. You shouldn't be cursing in front of your video. Don't do that. I mean, like, don't bother me. Don't, 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 don't drag me. Because <laughs> listen, listen. I don't usually cuss, but you know, when I do, you know what I'm saying? Just ignore it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're adults. I'm not cussing nobody out. I'm just... Mm. Speaking, I'm gonna need for my daughter to wake up because why are you sleeping this long? When you sleep around almost four, I guess probably six, if not. But in evenings like this, she can only sleep two hours max. There's no possible way. There's no way. So. <sighs> Sounds like a plastic. <sighs> you hear that? Ooh. <sighs> All right, let's. Mm. Let's go ahead and finish this thing. Mmm. So did you guys have a really good New Year's? Let me tell you about my New Year's. I sat in bed and watched The Protector on Netflix. We were literally in the bed by like 8. It was, you know what I'm saying, we didn't. <laughs> Just another day for us. I used to go out to the clubs. You know, back in the day, I'll be 30 in four months, so you know what I'm saying? I used to go out to the club back in the day, but here in the last few years, about three or four, maybe more years, cut that out completely. Um, the club is always going to be what it is, and... Honestly, I've never felt completely 100% comfortable in the club. Because I'm just paranoid and weird like that. You know what I'm saying? People might thought I was stuck up, but I don't care. People in general, I'm just not much of a people person. One-on-one, -on -one, all day long, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not more of a, much of a crowd type person always got invited to go places you know live, living in Louisiana and even here but <laughs> you lucky if you get me out the house period period I think my daughter is up or maybe not I don't know either way I'm gonna enjoy this meal mmm I, would, I did have a, a big, humongous, humongous cup of water, but um, it spilled. It spilled all over the floor. I don't know if 
if I can do this. Every time I be like so hungry, I think I can finish off my crab leg. But shit, I don't know how B-Love does it. That little bitty woman, like she eats. She like, I'm going to eat, probably eat one more. And then she end up eating two more legs. Like, girl, you eat. She eats. Maybe I shouldn't have ate. Now I'm regretting eating the damn chicken and some of this broccoli. Mmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I was listening to something. Mm. That looks scary. Mm. Mm. Trying to peel back. Shoot. You know what? Like I said, I'm one of these days I'm getting me a whole crab. Oh, wow, that came out smooth. But there's still some meat up in there. I'm gonna give me a whole crab. And um, the thing about the whole crab is the middle part when you know you pull back the body of it. It's weird because if you have all that look like green boogers or something, it's just scary. But people are like, oh, that's the that's the crab butter. I don't understand that. I'd be scared. I'd be scared. Excuse me. But one of these days. I know for sure I'm going to get a box, a 10 pound box. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you guys, at Costco, they have so many crab legs. It's like, y'all know damn well. Ain't nobody finna buy them all at one time. So what do you do with the extra so it doesn't spoil? They mark them down. Almost half price. So the crab legs, it be, you know, it varies like $14, $15, $13 or something like that. A leg. That's all I need still. But... They mark it down like that so it doesn't, so people will buy it, so it just don't go to waste. Smart. So, yeah. If I were you, my humble opinion, get you a Costco membership if you have to drive almost an hour away. It's worth it. It's worth it. Because... You're not gonna you're not gonna get quality shit anywhere else. Not even at Sam's Club. Like we got a membership. We went straight to the seafood section and we got the okie dokie looking crab legs there. This is regular crab legs. Man, I was so disappointed. But I know some places, some Sam Clubs, they do they do um sell the king crabs. Alaskan king crab, excuse me. I think that's about. I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go for it because I'm gonna be full. I need a nap after this. Like, I'm a nibbler, you know, so I don't, I can't really eat too much all at once. I'll make an exception today. Butter, butter. Mmm. Ew. That was purely just that. I'm thinking it was... It ain't bad, but it's just like... It ain't the meat, <laughs> so it's weird. The texture is just weird. No, I did not put on makeup because this video was like a spare of the moment. And it takes me almost 45 minutes to do my makeup anyhow. So this is this is me. 
I've never done any video with my fro ever. Well, I'll take that Not publicly. So, yeah. This is here for the world to see. <laughs> for the world. This is. This is it. <laughs> you know? This is what people go crazy for. This right here. I ate this the other last time when I had a little bit left over just for lunch by itself. It was tasty. You know, I was kind of mad because I was like, dang, I want some. Milk. But. Mm. Mm. That garlic and that butter. It's good. I don't like all that seasoning shit on my shit. You know, no? I don't know if I'm, if I'm peeling off fat and just crab meat. Anyway, I'm full anyway, so it don't matter. If it was a regular king crab, it'd be like the size of my finger. How disappointing. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite. I did it. <laughs> so juicy. Sweet. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm it's, I can't eat no more. F that broccoli. You know, that was the first thing I ate, so you know. I love my veggies, but I'm full. And I'm satisfied. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know, I'm a new YouTuber. My next video, I'm going to see if... Um, the beautician, beautician. I know her personally, you know. The beautician that's going to be doing my hair. I know her personally. I met her through my my fiance. They're in the military together. And she's, she's such a good person. She's so, so nice. She really helped me out, you know, when I moved out here. As far as, you know, what friends do we do for you? You know what I'm saying? She's really dope. So hopefully she wouldn't mind... You know, let me film it, but it may take a while. I don't know. So she's like, make sure you breast pump because, listen, we're going to be sipping some wine. And I, I'm scared to drink, period, because every time I'm drinking, I'm always rushing to drink it, like a beer or something, because I want to be done within 10 minutes, because I want the, you know, the beer out of my breast milk for when she has her next feeding, which is every hour and a half to two hours like everything as being a mom i'm always feeling like i'm being rushed no matter what i do rush rushing my nap <laughs> rushing just having time alone you know just because she's so needy but that's what's being a mom i enjoy it i do but i'm just not myself these days as a matter of fact, I didn't want to say this, but hey, whatever. So, tomorrow is my doctor's appointment to see a therapist. And when I mean by therapist, I mean a psychiatrist. She's a black woman. Cool. You know, 
you know, growing up, going to see a psychiatrist, you think of a white straight jacket being tied up and mental hospital and things like that. But you, no one was really educated about, or personally for me, I can speak for myself. I wasn't really educated about about it or really have much awareness about it. But I've always battled with depression. That's just depression. Yeah, I've I had that since I was really, 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 really young. Very young. And even as a little kid, you, you, you don't know what that is. You don't know. You just thought it's the word is just sad. Oh, I'm sad. But I, I was always sad. So, but it was depression. And I have recently like 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 never before battling with uh social anxiety i guess that's what you say anxiety period people being around people for a long time especially like for example the mall or walmart oh, irritating irritating and it's like i don't know I just be feeling like people be all up in my face watching me, and they do half the time. So, you know, but it's just gotten worse. And I'm possibly maybe bipolar. All I know is lately I just be angry. I just be mad. Angry. Yeah, you don't, oh, see, you don't seem like you can get mad. You don't seem like the person that'll be angry and mad. Hmm. You don't know me, so that's that's cool. But I get crazy. And when I mean crazy, I get um, I don't like myself when I'm that kind of crazy. But I notice, you know, these things, and I'm aware of these things, and I'll be real enough to say I need a little bit of help, a little bit. Back when I was in Louisiana. You know, <clears throat> I finally at the last minute went to go see my PCP, my primary care, you know, and she, you know, I finally, you know, told her what I, what my condition was. She was not a psychiatrist, but she's a doctor. So she kind of specializes a little bit in the mental health or maybe, or just, you know, so she subscribed me, well, Butrin and it was supposed to help me stop smoking cigarettes, which is cool. But she was like, I'm going to give you the lowest, lowest dose. And I'm like, hello, I'm still smoking cigarettes. Not as much. It was supposed to, like, make you sick so you don't smoke anymore. But shh, it didn't do shit. Like, it took about almost two months for it to, like, really kick in. And even then, the me you know, the with the medicine I was taking, I was still smoking cigarettes. But on the other hand, I noticed that I was more active and wanted to be out in the public and didn't have so much anxiety. Like, you know, maybe it did its job, but I was still depressed <laughs> and still having really, really instant hot and cold mood swings. And sometimes I would hold it in, but it would be like a fucking explosion in my body. <laughs> But, you know, I can be like this, but while there would be, like, an explosion in my body, heated. And I'm telling you, all like, I get sweaty, hot, like, the heat just go, Phew. yeah, it's like that. But, that's none of our business, but after tomorrow, I'll know more about it, because it'll be my first time seeing a psychiatrist. And I don't really like talking to people about my business. I'm so private. I'm so private. Oh, it is what it is. So tomorrow, very excited about that. Depending on how it goes, I will do a review about it. Talk about it. See what they've done for me and see what they say and... Because I things like that is very helpful, especially me, because I because I look on YouTube for things like that. I try to do videos what I would look for search wise. 
if that makes sense. Like the muk crab bang mukbang. I look for shit like that on YouTube, so why not do it for myself? Yeah, so. But this will conclude the show. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm very um, social friendly. Social media friendly. <laughs> but hey. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.